All right, guys, Nick the Nutter Buster with you, fresh off the Saddle Palooza. Had a blast. Met some awesome people. Ate way too much really good food. Um, <clears throat> just really great way to start the 2019-2020 uh, deer season. Usually, come the end of the season, I'm bushed. I'm done. Uh, don't really want to be a good boy and do my postseason scouting, but I was so pumped that we, we left a day early. We got back. And uh, instead of sleeping today, went and scouted, uh, covered eight miles, saw four deer, saw a lot of really good signs, so we're off to a good start. I mean, just can't overemphasize uh, how much fun I had. I took a buddy who was new to saddle hunting, and uh, we did some gear demos. We got to see some new gear. We got to show some folks my gear. Um, had a blast. Um, got to meet Dano from the forum, the guy who's responsible for these jewels, and got to show them off and uh i figured i'd go ahead and do a quick video kind of kind of explain these more i, I covered them in my full saddle setup rig my breakdown uh videos but these are such a core part of how i hunt that i figured that they deserve their own separate video and everybody that i showed them to was interested but i couldn't make it to everybody so uh, we're gonna jump right into it these for those of you who aren't familiar if you're new if you're not on the forum um one you should be two and these are awesome uh, these are the result of a very uh, long thread um, on saddlehunter.com where a bunch of different people kind of weighed in on what the perfect step was um, you can get them at doublesteps.com they're awesome um, I used to use a ring of Amera steps and they were heavy they were bulky they were clunky um, and not to mention you couldn't really find them they're not in production these are right now um, the only other step currently in production is the Bullman Outdoor Steps. These are way better. You can see they're super, super small. They're three quarters of an inch in diameter. They're made out of 6061 aluminum. They are milled, um, not extruded or cast. So they're, they're very, very strong. They're very, very secure. Um, they're very, very light. Uh, the weight that, I, that is listed on the website, I believe, is 3.16 ounces, which is like a whole ounce less than what the Amara steps were. Um, the Amara steps are two inches wide. Um, so these are, you know, less than half of the side to side profile and they're 25% lighter thereabouts. Um, and they're still very stable on a tree. So these, they pack very, very small. You can put them in a fanny pack. Uh, if you got big cargo pockets or a big jacket pocket, you can put them in there. You can put them in a dump pouch on your saddle. Um, this is the way to hunt in my mind. They're very easy to put on the tree. You can see you just unwind them once you get up to the tree. They're on a one inch strap with an OCB buckle. The one that they sell on the uh, on the doublesteps.com site is a little different from the one that I'm using now. I already had it. But you can see you just kind of throw your strap around the tree. And you just set them how you want them. I like to get mine spaced as equidistant apart as I can. Take a second, since you're going to be sitting on them for a few hours, get them how you want them. Alright, so that's good. Then all that you're going to do, people say this is hard and they say that this OCB doesn't get them tight. Now, I don't know if I have, that's not my experience. OCB on most trees get some super tight. I take this strap and I just go ahead and I wrap it around. You take this buckle. And you just cam it over. Um, and that's it. These are rock solid. I'm going to get up on them. I'm going to show you kind of how you can uh, shoot 360 degrees around the tree. I'm going to go ahead and hook my bow up. Um, show you show you how solid these guys are well first first I'm gonna do a real quick video I'm gonna go ahead and hook up show you how solid they are under side pressure so let's do that
All right, so talk about the ring steps and the shooting options that you have. Get my release real quick. So this is how it usually sit. My bow on my left side. My pack would usually be around the other side of the tree. Okay. And I do run a fairly low tether. You can kind of see the angle that I'm at. I'm kind of a high seated position usually on the tree. So but from a ring of steps, you can see anything in front of you. Very easy shot all the way to your six o'clock. Very easy, you can do that from two steps. You can also, when you go to move, you can put your knee in the tree and then that'll free up a foot. You can find that step that's in the middle. I always set up with kind of a foot on the left, a foot on the right, and I like to keep the step in the middle so that you can step you can swing so I can cover from that I can cover a good bit of that left rear quadrant like your six o'clock to uh, say your four or five o'clock not a lot of movement you can see I can swing on this side and I can cover that now as far as doing the infamous weak side shot very simple here's approaching on my right hand side okay weak side to shoot on that side if he's coming out from say the 12 o'clock to the 3 o'clock position that quadrant I don't really even have to move you just take your bow off the hook and then you're going to come up and over your bridge and twist in the saddle and then you can cover all the way to your 12 you can come over on that middle step and that's all you got to do it's very easy very simple. Swing back around. And you can cover a good bit that way. You're very mobile around the tree. I can shoot with one foot on that middle step, and one foot on my left hand step. I can cover all the way back to my six o'clock coming up and over my bridge. And I can really come around the tree when you shoot this way. I can wrap all the way around and peek out at you and shoot back on my strong side. So you can shoot around the tree. I'll show you again. You're sitting in the tree. Here it comes out on your weak side. You go for your bow. You bring it up, over, put your foot on that middle step, swing. Okay. It's not a lot of movement. You got to come up and over to make that left hand shot on a platform or on a ring of steps. It's very little movement. And you can do it pretty smooth. Rested. Put your left knee into the tree. Brace. Move that right foot. Plant it on the middle step. Pivot. That's the footwork. Brace off your knees. If you can learn to brace on the tree off of your knees, you're good. So I'll show you the footwork again to go on that side. You brace on your knee. That leaves your right foot free to come around, find that middle step, push off the middle step, turn. If you want to go back, brace your knee, turn. Okay, one more time. Grab the bow, brace on your left knee, find that middle step, come up and over. Draw, and you can pivot wherever he comes out in that quadrant. You can get to him. 